Well, welcome to this Valumed uh, product demonstration video for the EV Uric Acid Dedicated Blood Uric Acid Monitoring System. The box that you'll be presented with is uh, this one, made by Visangir for us. It requires only 0.5 of a microliter of blood, capillary blood, to trigger a test. It takes 15 seconds to run a test analysis and holds 150 test memories. So let's show you what's inside the box. Then we're going to run you through setup and then we're going to show you how to do a successful finger lance to get a good sample so that you can get accurate uric acid level measurement with this device going forward. Thanks for watching. Let's uh, stay tuned and we'll run you through the various elements of this video. We will try and put chapters in the YouTube so that you can jump if required to the specific element of interest. Okay, so inside the box, this is the box contents. You get an EB Uric Acid user's manual, which is uh, very clearly written, nice and easy to follow, has lots of useful information about how to set up the meter and to operate it. You get the EB Uric Acid meter itself, which is this device. You get a lancing device, which is a spring-loaded auto lancer. And in this side pouch, you get some lancets and the CR2032 battery. Now you will also have been supplied with a pack of 25 EB uric acid test strips and in supplied inside the box with that will come the code chip. Now the code chip number will be the same as the code chip number referenced on the side of the test strips. So let's show you now how to set the meter up, set the time, date, year, hour and minute and then we'll next show you how to run your first test. Well, let's now show you how to set the year, time, date, month and day on the EB Uric Acid Meter. Flip it over and open the battery port and pop the 2032 uh, cell battery in. It goes uh, upper side down, so at the flat side is pointing upwards, and just push it down into the battery port. You'll hear it beep. Now, if you just turn it over, the screen will be blank. What we need to do now is to push this little button, the setting button on the rear. If I just push it once, it initially gives me the option to set the year. Now, you can use the front button to select the correct year. If it's higher than the year it is currently, then just keep setting it. It defaults after about year 2050 back to 2018, and you can then work your way around to 2024. Press it again, and it is now asking me for the month. So I'm going to go April and press it again, and you can see the day flashing. So I'm going to go for the 9th and then press it again, and it's got hour and minute. It's a 24 hour clock, so we're in the afternoon. I'm going to go 1400 hours and I'm going to run it right the way around past the hour to 15. There we go. Now, when you're happy with the time and date, press again. And you'll see now it's flashing down here on the bottom milligrams per deciliter. If you hold the front button, you can put it through to millimoles per liter. Hold it again, it will go back. You can select which scale that it will display the results in. For UK users, we usually recommend millimoles per liter. And when you're happy with that, press that again and it will power off. This meter is now fully set up. I can put the battery lid back on and we're now ready to perform our first test. Now, each time you purchase replacement or new EB uric acid test strips, they will come with a specific lot or batch number and they will be supplied with a little code chip as this one demonstrates. Now, before you use them, you need to apply the coding, which is the calibration settings for that batch. And to do so, all you do is insert the calibration chip into the top of the meter. Now you'll see this work through and it should show the, the, the number of the batch, which is 1112. Just check that is correct. Both that number is on the code chip and on the side of the test strips. Now that's all you have to do. The code chip can now be removed from the meter. Now the calibration for this set of test strips has been fully loaded into the meter. Now what I'm going to do is now show you what happens when you insert one of these test strips into the top of the meter 
There we go. It automatically switches the meter on, shows that code number, which is correct, and you'll see this flashing indicator here asking you to uh, insert the blood sample into the top of the meter. So let's now demonstrate to you the best technique for getting a blood sample. Now you need to do this when you are really warm and the hands are really well perfused. If they are cold or pale, do not attempt to do your finger lance. Make sure the fingers are really nice and warm. You should have washed your hands in soap and water and dried them completely. You will see when these tests are being done in hospital settings, the use of uh, alcohol-based wipes. These are used really where there's no facilities enabling patients to go and wash and dry their hands properly. They just sterilize the area where they're doing the lance. But in home testing, there's no requirement to do that. If you do want to use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, you can do, but we recommend washing the fingers and hands in warm water. And you'll see now that I'm massaging the fingers and this encourages the blood into the capillaries and that will ensure that you get a really good sample when you are ready to test. Now, prior to this, we ask you to set up your lancing device. Take one of the sterile lancets, remove the cap from the lancing device by screwing it, place the lance into the lancing device, and now just twist and remove the bevel cap. This exposes the sterile steel lance. You can then reconfigure the auto lancer. Now, when you're first doing tests, we recommend you have it on the deepest setting, which is five on these lancing devices. Then pre-load the lancing device by pulling out the spring, and you should be able to trigger this now just by firing this button here. So I'm going to trigger that again, ready to do my lance. You'll see while I've been doing that, the meter is quite happily still waiting for the blood sample to be provided. So there's no rush once you've set the meter waiting for the blood sample. You've got several minutes before it will power down to do your finger lance. When you are ready to do your finger lance, have a little bit of tissue paper or toilet paper handy because you want to use the second drop of blood. When your fingers are really nice and well perfused and warm, we recommend lancing on the middle or index finger. Brace the finger, place the lancing device towards the side of the finger, not on the flat, but on the side. Hold and support the base of the finger properly and trigger the lancing device. You'll see I get a little drop of blood forming. I'm just gonna remove that slightly from my finger and just let the second droplet form naturally. If you can, try not to massage the finger at this stage and let the, drop lot, the, sorry, the blood drop form naturally. And when you've got a good drop, just present it onto the end of the test strip. You'll see it doesn't take much blood and it starts the countdown and then just support the finger where you've lanced. Now within 15 seconds, I should get my blood uric acid level in millimoles per litre displayed for me there, 250. For help in interpreting your uric acid levels, we'll put some links on the website listing for this meter with some guidance for you. It's that simple to run an accurate uric acid blood test using this meter. With the correct lancing technique, you should get hospital accurate readings using this device. If you find that the meter has powered down while you're waiting to get your uh, lance blood sample, simply remove the test strip and then reinsert it back into the port and it will be ready for you to run the test as we showed. Thanks for watching. If there's any questions or problems you're having with this meter, please contact our customer support team during office hours, telephone numbers and all their contact details for email or live chat are available on the website listing on ValueMed. Thanks for watching.